Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about advanced enzymes at very interesting levels and should it be bought here or not? Let's understand that. Let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about advanced enzymes, I have a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you will have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts that I put up from time to time. And once you pay $100 upfront, then you get one year access by paying for 10 months and that is a 20% discount on everything. For detailed market or company talk, you can directly email me and we can work things out. Also, if you cannot pay through credit card, you can pay through um, you can pay through PayPal as well. Now about the company present in India since 1958, they provide a number of nutritional enzyme combinations for various industries, and they are into R and D of nutrition and provide same uh, for human, animal, and food processing, and basically into the food processing space some products are as fungal lactase uh, you have peptide peptidezyme uh, you have diet grain x enzymes for baking fruits and yeast processing exports around uh, globally and the market lead it is a market leader in its space and it is a niche space that it that the company is into if you look at the financials, then uh, the sales went up by around 20% in the Q4 of FI21, whereas the profit was flat at 32 crores. It is a debt-free company. There is high promoter and institutional holding with only 14% free float, which is a big positive return on equity of 16%, but a very good operating profit margin of around 40-41%. Now about the performance, uh, stock has been subdued in the last 4 years, it hasn't done much in the last 4 years as the other stocks have done, have been consistently falling from the 450 level, so it is a crucial level that we are looking at, it is currently around 400, it fell more than 50% in the March, uh, you can say 2020 market collapse, but has recovered all its losses of March and is back above 400 as I mentioned, so it has recovered very smartly from those lows in the last 12-15 months business and performance has been pretty good but it is just that the stock has not regained its shape that much because the earnings have been up and down so it hasn't been like 20-30% growth as other companies are producing and probably that's why people are not looking at it although the business wise the company looks extremely strong it currently trades at 30 times earnings which is not expensive but not cheap either so it is fairly valued what it needs to do is probably grow on the bottom line and then the valuations will become attractive and the stock would surge so that is probably where the large investors are waiting for but most of the anchor investors most of the big wigs who are invested in the stock for many years are continuing to be invested so it is not that uh, uh, they have sold or, or large, large FII holding has reduced or anything it is just that the performance of the stock has not been uh, that great if you look at the technicals then there is strong long term support around the 360 levels and there is a slightly deeper support around 310 so you can somebody who wants to buy can buy around the 400 levels and add on declines to 360 370 i think 310 320 should hold and over the next three four years it can give a very good returns because what has happened is that it has seen the worst and and the stock has not performed a lot it has been consolidating so these are not bad levels to get into it may not fall a lot and may be ready for a big upsurge rather than a downfall so i believe that this stock investing into this stock it requires more of a patience kind and cannot be traded on a you can say a short term basis it is not a tradable stock it is not a stock in which you can trade for two three weeks and make money or one month or two months it is a stock to be invested into 
for the next uh, you can say uh, foreseeable three four years uh the big up move is expected above 480 once it crosses that i i won't be surprised if this surges to 600 within days so what needs to be done can buy for long term at at these levels hold and keep track of global events because it is more of an export oriented uh, company have a good three to five year time frame remember it is a top niche r d firm so any big research and development that happens in the company would make the stock surge higher so uh, probably you need to be patient with the investment and you can have five to ten percent investment into such stocks so this one video on advanced enzymes please like and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you can get my videos straight away when i post it thanks a lot for watching